everybody, welcome to Let's Yoga. My name is Jill. Thanks for joining in today. This session is going to be about the rainforest. So we're going to be looking at animals, insects and birds that live in the rainforest and think about all the wonderful things that the rainforest does for those animals, provides the space and a place for them to live. So, making sure you have your space ready to do your yoga, so making sure you're free from furniture or bumping into family members or pets, making sure you have some water nearby to keep yourself hydrated. And just to say, try your best, because that's all we can do, but come out of anything if you feel any pinching and have some fun. Okay, so let's start with our special yoga code word. So sitting up nice and tall and cross-legged if you aren't already. Bring your hands together in your heart space. And after three, we'll bow our heads and say Namaste. One, two, three, Namaste. Amazing. Okay, so we're going to begin by doing some breathing to start with. So can you give me five like this? And we're going to give you, put the other hand in your air and give a little wiggle with your index finger. Now this is going to be a little caterpillar or a little worm. And it's going to travel around your fingers. And as you breathe in, it's going to move up and as you breathe out, it's gonna move down. Okay, let's go. So breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Wow, I don't know about you, but that's made me feel lovely and calm. And remember, you can always have a go at doing that when you feel you need to. Brings us back to a nice feeling of calm. Okay, so let's stand up and begin our adventure. So can you come up to standing without using your hands? Wee, well done. Okay, so let's stand up here. We're just gonna warm up our necks and heads and shoulders and bodies a little bit before we start. So can you stand up really nice and tall in mountain pose with your feet just a little distance apart underneath your hips, shoulders down away from your ears. Now we're gonna breathe in as we look up to the sky and then breathe out, come back to center. As you breathe in, look down. As you breathe out, come back to center. As you breathe in, look over to one ear, smile at anyone you might see. You see John so asleep. As you breathe out, come back to center. As you breathe in, look over to the other side. As you breathe out, come back to centre. Can you bring one your ear towards one ear, shoulder? And then back to centre. And then bring the other shoulder down, ear towards that shoulder. And then back to centre. Can you give a little bend in your knees and bring your shoulders up, around and down and back? Let's do three of those. One, two, three. Amazing, and then bring it back forward, so bring them round back up. Two, and three. Can you give your hands a little wave? Hi! Can you wave out to the side? Can you breathe in, put them in the air? Can you bring them down to your toes? Stretch down there, and then slowly roll all the way up. And then bring your legs a little bit wider. Whoops. And can you give a little twist and float your arms around, washing away. That's it, float them around, sway. Feels really nice in the spine. And then slowly make it back to stillness. Okay, so our story begins, a little bit of a story, begins in the rainforest where there's beautiful trees. So let's come into tree pose. So standing up really nice and tall. Can you bring your hands onto your hips? Now, if you can bend one knee, lift one heel off the floor, and can you place it to the side of the other leg? And maybe that's a good enough balance for you. Now we need to be careful about doing this around our knees to protect them. So could you bring it up towards below your knee and balance there. Maybe you can bring your arms out there. Maybe that's enough of a balance for you. If you want to go a bit further, can you bring it to the top of your leg and balance there? Four, three, 
two, one, then carefully and gently come back down. Well done, give your body a little shake. Woo! So there's lots and lots of trees in the rainforest, so let's do one on the other side. Okay, so let's begin. Hands on our hips. Can you bend one knee? Can you bring that heel to the side of your leg? Maybe that's enough for you there. Perhaps you can bring it just below your knee there. Float your arms out and maybe that's enough for you. If you want to go further, you can bring it all the way to the top of your leg. And let's balance there for three, two, one. Excellent, and carefully come back down. So our story begins with a brave little mouse. So I'm just going to turn around. Can you slowly make your way down into the tiniest little mouse pose you can make? So, coming down onto your knees, putting your feet flat to the floor and bring your arms out behind you and rest onto your forehead. Now, the little mouse was a bit upset because he felt small, he felt that he felt he wasn't very special. And he looked at all the other animals and thought they were more special than him. But what he didn't realise was that he had a superpower. But he didn't know it yet. So, he went on an adventure to the rainforest. So, in, along the way, he met lots of different animals. So, can we come up? So, come up to kneeling. Then, can you carefully roll forward onto your hands and come into a cat pose like this? He saw the magnificent, elegant jaguar. So, can you bring your hips over your knees, your feet? your toenails flat to the floor and your shoulders over your wrists. Can you breathe in and shine your heart forward like an elegant jaguar? And as you breathe out, can you stretch it back and put your head between your arms and your back towards the sky. And then as you breathe in, shine it forward, look up. And as you breathe out, stretch it back. Now he thought the elegant jaguar had giant paws and was big and proud. So can you lift one hand into the air, stretch your fingertips down, press your hand down. Then can you lift it on the other side, lift that hand into the air, stretch your fingertips and then press it down. Can you bend your arms and see if you can lift a leg out behind you and give a little roll, with, roll your toes and your ankles. And then carefully and elegantly place it down. And can you do it on the other side? Lift that leg out behind you. Carefully do some rolls with your ankle. And then kneel it back down. And come on to kneeling and just give your wrist a little shake out. Well done! So the mouse thought, oh, the jaguar is big and proud and elegant and beautiful. I'm only little and small. But then, as he tiptoed his little mouse way through the forest, he came across another small creature. So can you swivel around? I'm just going to swivel around. Can you curl your toes under at the back and push back so you're into a little squat? He came across the poison dart frog, who, although was small, had a special venom that he could give out to any predators. And he also could jump really high. So let's do five big jumps together. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, said the mouse. This frog could jump really high. Wow, he thought it was a frog it was amazing. And the little frog said, hello, mouse. Hope you're going good on your way. And so the little mouse tiptoed through the rainforest, said goodbye, and came across the squirrel monkeys. Now, can you slowly come up to standing and give your body a little shake out there? Now, the squirrel monkeys could leap through the trees of the tree canopy, and they could travel really far and wide across the rainforest. So, can you come a little, with your legs a little bit wider, there and can you reach your arms out and can you imagine you're reaching through so float your arms up to one side bend your knees like you're jumping through the trees wow look at you 
go. Can you do a monkey pose? Maybe you can bounce in your new legs like this. One way, and then go the other way. Maybe you can jump round. And be a big monkey. And the mouse thought, wow, even though those monkeys are quite small, they're also amazing at traveling and climbing, and they've got lots of skills too. And then, at the very top of the tree canopy, the mouse saw an elegant bird who had wonderful dark black wings and a beautiful colored beak. So can you stand up really nice and tall? And can you float your arms up? You breathe in, and as you breathe out, bring your arms back down. It was a toucan bird. Okay, I'm just gonna swim around so you can see. And the toucan bird could fly and soar high in the sky. So can you bring your arms down to your sides? Can you fold forward at your hips and see if you can float your one leg out behind you and see if you can float your arms to the side. Balancing on that leg, bend that other leg if you need to. And you fly, keep your neck nice and long, looking down at the floor. And then coming up back to centre. And they live in lots, these beautiful birds live all together in the trees. So let's do the other side. Can you bend forward, find a spot on the floor to concentrate on? Can you lift one leg, the other leg up behind you and float that arm? And balance here for three, two and one. Gently come back to standing. Then the little mouse spotted a capybara. So can you slowly make your way down onto your knees and bring your hands again down onto your shoulders and be a little capybara. So they move and wiggle around. So maybe you can wiggle around, bend your arms, wiggle, shake, shake, shake. And the little mouse thought, oh. What's special about the capybara? And then the little mouse saw that they were friendly and kind and they lived in big family groups. And the mouse thought, wow, can I stretch your arms? Give a great big hug. Oh, switch from side to side. The mouse thought, well, that's a special power in itself, isn't it? And then bring out your arms and then bring them up, put the other arm on top and give yourself a great big hug. Well done. Then something caught the little mouse's eye. It was electric blue and it flew past. It was a blue morpho butterfly. So can you swing your legs over to one side and slowly come onto your bottom and then bring your feet together in front of you like this. Bring your hands down and hold onto your feet and can you flap your wings? Wow, said the mouse, and the butterfly said, hello, and the, butterfly, and the mouse thought, wow, you're so beautiful, and big, and wonderful, and the mouse was very impressed with the butterfly, there we go, stop flapping our wings, and then the mouse saw something green, and long, and big, it was a green anaconda snake, and the mouse thought, ooh, but so can you bring your knees in and then can you flop over to one side and come all the way down onto your bellies like this. And you bring your elbows underneath your shoulders and your hands flat to the floor with your toenails facing the floor too. You bring your shoulders down away from your ears and can you give a great big <gasps> But it was okay because this green anaconda was very friendly and didn't like eating mice. And the mouse thought, well, I'm not gonna, a great big long snake like that, he wasn't gonna hang about. So he moved through the rainforest and then came across a wiggly worm. Now, can you bring your hands down by your sides and bring your forehead down and rest down in this worm pose? Now, see if you can lift your head, chest, shoulders and your feet off the floor and then breathe out as you go back down. As you breathe in, can you lift? And maybe you can do some wiggling there. Can you rock from side to side? <laughs> do some wiggling around. 
and then reach the mouse up. What makes worms so special? And then the mouse realised that worms ate soil and gave it more air and water. So it was essentially helping the soil be better. <gasps> wow, said the mouse. Then the mouse pushed and push yourself back up and then come into the little mouse pose again. And the mouse will rest down here. Wow. Then the mouse thought, wow, all these animals have something special about them. And then the mouse realised that he had a special power too. He was kind and loving, and that is just as great as being big and beautiful as the other animals. And then the last little animal that the mouse saw was a very sleepy sloth. So can you find your way coming down to lying down and see how slowly you can move to get there. So come in onto your bottom with your feet flat to the floor with your knees in the air. See how slowly you can move to lying down. Make sure there's nothing behind you. And lie down. And see, stretch out one leg, stretch out the other, and leave your hands by your sides. And see how still you can be as a sleeping sloth. Let's take three breaths in here. So breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Then can you bring your knees in and just give yourself a little hug. Rock your legs from side to side. And then gently flop over to one side and then roll back up to sitting. Bringing your back into a cross-legged. Well done, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that session today. It's all about recognising that we're all amazing and wonderful ourselves. And there's lots of things and animals you can learn about in the rainforest. Okay, so let's bring our hands together in our heart space and finish on our special yoga code word. After three, one, two, three. Namaste. Thanks for joining in, everyone. Bye-bye.